Mm, some people are going to be really upset by this, by the way. Hi, it's me again, Zach Young, pastry director of Cravable Hospitality Group. I've been a professional pastry chef for 13 years. Today, we're gonna taste some Girl Scout cookies. An iconic Girl Scout cookie. The exterior doesn't really give away the true magic that's hidden inside. Like many things in life, the beauty is within. The texture of the cookie is great. It has a subtle hint of mint. Too much mint and it becomes like toothpaste. My one problem is the outside coating. It's a little waxy, like a mint scented Yankee candle. Four and a half stars. We're starting high. This is like when you get a patch for wrestling a bear. It's even better that it's edible. This is better than I remember. There's like a little bit of saltiness in there and it's really crunchy. These are actually really good. She's a natural beauty. She doesn't wear makeup. She just naturally glows. I'm like into it. Four stars. Savannah smiles, sounds like a drag queen. Oh, that's interesting. Super crunchy, crumbly on the inside, super, super acidic. You eat it and like you pucker and you do this thing. And then when the sour goes away, you finally smile and Savannah smiles. Two stars. The do -si do the uglier cousin of the Nutter Butter, suspiciously lacking in filling. It's like peanut butter and chalk needs this. Peanut flavor is really good. I just want more cream filling. I'm gonna go with three stars. If you promise me a sandwich, it better be heavy on the meat. Oh, these are new. The Girl Scout s'more. Doesn't really look like a s'more. These look like those sugar-free sandwich cookies that my grandmother had. It's good. I'm not sure it's like s'mores. Cookie's good, basic. Chocolate is awesome. I'm just missing the toast. S'mores is the new girl. I'm gonna be nice. I'm gonna give her three and a half stars. Tagalongs. Or peanut butter patties, depending on where you live in the country. I used to love these. Not as good as I remember. I want more peanut butter. I want more peanut. The chocolate's great. I'm just not getting the creaminess. I want this to be the love child of a peanut butter cup and a cookie. It looks more like it's cookie father and it definitely needs milk. Three and a half stars. Three and three quarter stars. It's like one of those things that are maybe best kept as a memory. Wow, they look artisanal. Gluten-free Girl Scout cookies. Next year, they're gonna be selling kale and quinoa salad. But no, really, for people who can't have gluten, I'm actually really happy that they did this. This is the Toffee-tastic. Who names Girl Scout cookies? How do I get that job? Mm, the box don't lie, it's Toffee-tastic. Super crunchy, nicely caramelized, really great flavor. I'm into it. Good three and a half stars. The only thing missing in here, a lot more toffee. I wanna crack it too. It's like a thing of beauty. That texture, the toasted coconut, halo. Toasty, coconutty, hint of suntan lotion in the best possible way. Gooey, chewy, probably the only Girl Scout cookie that I can't make better. Five stars. Because you can never replicate perfection. Where's the rest of this box? There's like winter, spring, summer, fall, and Girl Scout cookie season. That's my favorite season. They're nostalgic. There isn't a bad one. Go support your local Girl Scouts. Buy as many boxes as you can because no one can say no to Girl Scout cookies. I used to hide these under my bed. Like other boys had filthy magazines, I had boxes of Girl Scout cookies. Go figure.